Hi guys, I'm Tiana and welcome to my channel or welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience taking the birth control pill because I started taking it to clear my skin and I make a ton of skincare videos. In addition to that, I also am gonna be talking about the prescription acne cream that I'm on because that was also kind of like hand in hand with my pill that I got prescribed. I got both of them at the same time and I actually have gone through three different types of the pill before I found the one that actually works for me. So in this video, I'm going to be kind of talking to you guys about all of the side effects that I had, like what all happened. But I just want to say that like I'm not a doctor, obviously. I'm also not a biology major. So this is just from like an experience standpoint. And I know that my body chemistry isn't going to be the same as anyone else's. So these are just kind of like common side effects that people get. And I'm going to be telling you like what happened to me. But this is all like in my experience. And since I'm not a doctor, I'm going to be like linking stuff down below in case you guys want to go like read up on it yourselves. And most of this information is just like what my doctor told me and that kind of thing. So I guess we can just go ahead and get started. I kind of like have some notes because this is like a different video so I have to like remember to say everything that I meant to say. But basically, um, I started taking the birth control pill three years ago. It was the summer before I started senior year. So now I'm a sophomore in college. And the first pill that I started taking was a generic form of orthotricycline and it was not the low version, which I am on now. It was the full hormone dosage and I absolutely hated it, but I took it for a couple months to see if I could get used to it, but we're gonna get into that later. And in addition to that, she prescribed me tretinoin 0.05%. Now I'm on tretinoin 0.1, no. Tretinoin 0.1%, yeah, that's right. So it is a topical acne cream and I got these to use together to clear up my acne. And a little bit about my skin. I only started doing YouTube once my skin was clear. Um, and that is just for a couple different reasons. But I also like wasn't really like interested in starting it at the time. So you guys haven't really seen like my whole like skincare journey. You just kind of see like the videos that I post now. But I had like smallish bumps on my face. It wasn't like severe cystic acne, but I would get like some small bumps here and there. And then also like sometimes I'd get like a bigger one and it would be painful and like annoying and I hated it. But I got prescribed those two things because the first acne medication that I was taking, Epiduo, was no longer covered by my insurance. I know this because my mom tried to pick it up and it was like $500 and then she was like, I'm not gonna pay $500 just for this. So she took me back to the dermatologist to get a different form of treatment and that is what I got prescribed. So now I'm gonna talk to you guys about like the birth control pill. So I don't have that one with me to show you guys but it was a combination birth control pill. So that means it had estrogen in addition to a form of progestin. I don't exactly know how it works, obviously, but if you want, you can look it up online. So I was taking that and it was also a triphasic pill. So it would have seven day intervals and then on like the last one you would get your period. I have the one that I take now and it's kind of similar but it was a round little pill thing so it would have like different hormone levels. This is the low version that I'm taking now and then on the last week you would get your period but I didn't like that at all because I feel like the hormone dosage was just like way too much for me even though in reality like a lot of people can take it and be fine but again this is just my video so it's obviously from my point of view but i didn't like it because it made my breasts super painful and like sensitive they would like get kind of more 
painful throughout the month of me taking it until it would just like be my period and then it would kind of like get less bad after that but that was the first thing I hated about it the second thing was I kind of like cried a lot I think um it just like made me sad and then I would like want to cry I don't know if this is like happening for everyone who kind of like starts taking that kind of pill but I would cry sometimes for like no reason and it was kind of crazy and then the last thing I had was like sleep disturbances I guess like I couldn't sleep my sleep schedule was like all messed up and then like sometimes I would sleep a lot and then sometimes I wouldn't be able to go to bed at night and I'm always like one of those types of people who can like kind of sleep when they're tired but on that I was like having some issues and it was bad because I was in my senior year of high school at the time so I would like have to wake up and go to class it's not like now how I can kind of plan my own schedule around like what times I want to go to class I would always have to be up and go to school so that was just not working for me but I took it for a couple more months and then I feel like my body kind of got more used to it but the breast tenderness thing never went away but I did want to mention also that my skin was super clear and my periods were like little to nothing with no cramps but I've kind of always had that just because I guess that's how I was made and I've heard that it also kind of has to do with how active you are like if you play sports which I played sports all throughout high school and then I would also kind of be into like running or like going to the gym and that kind of thing so I'm not sure if that's like a myth or not but maybe that had something to do with why I was kind of like having periods like that and then weight gain is the other thing that people get super concerned about when they start taking birth control and on that pill I didn't notice any at all except obviously like my boobs were hurting and they were like bigger but I don't remember like gaining any weight or anything like that and then I also wasn't nauseous I know that's another like side effect some people have but that didn't happen for me so my skin was clear but all this other stuff I didn't like so I took it for a couple more months the side effects got like less and less bad every month but the boob thing never like went away so eventually I went back and got prescribed a different pill and I have that one with me because I just never threw them away and it was Blasovi FE120 and I don't know like what this one is a generic for if I can find it I'll put it on the screen but this one was not triphasic I don't believe I'm pretty sure you can tell by like what the pills look like but this one has three rows of white pills and one row of brown pills so I am pretty sure that it has the same hormone dosage for all three of these and then you just get your period here I could be wrong though so I would totally like research it if you're interested but this one I didn't have nearly as many bad side effects I had a little bit of like breast swelling and tenderness like but I know people get that just naturally when they're gonna have their period it's just kind of like a natural thing but I would never have that before and then when I started taking this that started happening so it wasn't as bad as the first one though my skin was still clear I didn't gain weight and I wasn't like crying and stuff so I was pretty much fine except for like the tenderness thing I took this one for maybe like a year or something and then whenever I had to go back to the doctor to get another prescription for it I started taking Trilo Marzia which is the generic brand of ortho tricycline low so this one has a lower dose of hormones which I prefer obviously but this one it's just like color-coded and then you take these the first week and then these these and then you get your period here so I'm pretty sure these don't have any like active hormones in them so with this one I've been taking it for the longest out of any of these other pills and I don't have any like negative side effects my skin is clear light periods all of that jazz my boobs don't hurt nearly as bad it still like bothers me a little bit here and there but not for like the whole month like it did with the higher dosage of the hormones 
And then as far as weight gain goes with that pill, I am not sure if I gained weight because just like as I got older, like sometimes people gain weight and like fill out a little bit or if it was the pill or it might have also been because when I started going to college I got more into like lifting weights and stuff at the gym and like squatting and that kind of thing and then I also became like more conscious of like eating enough protein after I worked out so it also could be that but I'm not sure like what exactly it was but also it's not like I gained like 10 or 15 pounds but that was just in my experience with it. Everyone could have like a different reaction to it. So again, like this is all from my point of view. I've said that like so many times, but that's just because I don't want people to like go in the comments and like say that I'm wrong and stuff. But it's just because like it, it's different for everyone, obviously, because no two people are the exact same. Yeah, so. That's pretty much it on like the pill side of things. Now I'm gonna talk about like the cream that I got. So tretinoin is a form of vitamin A or retin-A. It's prescription only as far as I know. And how it works is it kind of like makes the dead skin or it makes the skin on your face that has like acne or like blemishes and all that kind of stuff dry up and then it like peels off so then the skin beneath it that doesn't have any acne or dark spots on it kind of comes through because like the old skin fell off of your face so I don't know if that's like a type of chemical exfoliant but that is what I used and that was my experience of how it worked so I use the 0.5 or the 0.05 percent for a while but like anything you build up a tolerance to it so now i'm on the 0.1 percent and my skin has built up a tolerance to that as well but i don't think i need to get a stronger form of it but it kind of works by just making like the blemishes and stuff peel off your face basically but then as you are more tolerant to it it's not gonna like work as noticeably like I don't really see my skin like peeling off in like chunks anymore like it used to it kind of just gradually does the same process and also I'm wearing some foundation right now and concealer so my skin obviously doesn't look this like clear all the time I just have makeup on but that is how the acne medication side of things worked so using these two together really helped my skin be clear from like a hormonal sense and then also from like a topical cream kind of aspect. So together they really helped clear my face. When I was younger, or not younger, but like a couple years ago when I had like bad skin, it would just have like small little bumps. It was more of like a texture issue and then sometimes I'd get those painful like bigger ones with the white stuff in it and I hated those but those two really helped clear up my entire face and before I forget I just want to say that I know when you're taking pills like these it can somewhat increase your risk of getting a blood clot I don't know like how much it increases it by but I'm sure there's information online so when you're taking these you're not supposed to like smoke in any way and you're not supposed to like vape or have any like jewels or like nicotine or anything like that. I found that out more recently so I'm not going to be like doing any like vaping ever again because I don't want to like get a blood clot or die so I just wanted to say that as well in case you guys didn't know but I'm sure like a lot of people know that already but my doctor did say that I can take the birth control pill for years at a time without having any negative side effects. Um, she said that I would be fine to take it until I wanted to have kids. So I take her word for it. I'm not really sure. Like I don't research that obviously, but she's a doctor and I'm not. So I haven't really had any problems with taking it. So I'm going to continue to because I like having clear skin. So that is it for this video. Those were all of kind of like 
my experiences and side effects using the pill and the cream together to clear my skin. So if you have any questions, you can leave them below. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video.